Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanisha, aka Sparkly Natural. And today I show you how I get this colorful look. <laughs> so come have some fun with me. It's a talk through, I haven't done one of those in a little bit, but keep watching to see how I get this look. And so last night I tried out this My L Rosemary Styling Cream and I love it. it looks really good. But <laughs> we'll talk about it here in another video. So keep watching. Hey y'all. So I haven't done my eyebrows in a while on camera. So I figured I would do that today. Gonna start off by putting a primer on my eyebrows. I feel like that helps it um, to stay in place. I'm oily and so my eyebrows can slip right off if I don't prime them. So I also do my eyelids just while I'm right there. Helps them not to be oily. Gonna use my all time favorite, <laughs> but I always use my ABH dip brow. Going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. Brush in place, get them right. I'm gonna start off with the outline. So you don't want these harsh edges. So I like to go in with the edge of this, just kind of drag that down, kind of lighten it up. And then we're also gonna do some of this with some concealer, we're gonna lighten it up. So it doesn't have to look perfect right now, but we'll make it look lighter. To finish off the eyebrows using the LA Girl Pro Concealer, Take some of that off of my hand. Go in and carve out the brow. Blend that out with a fluffy brush. Blend that out as well. So that's when you're gonna take whatever is left on this brush and start to rake it through the front of your brow so it lightens it up so it's not as harsh. Now that we got those worked to where we need it to be, gonna take some of my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder and set this before we go in with the shadow. Shadows blend nice. For eyeshadow today, I want to do something colorful. Just gonna freestyle. Gonna use this Urban Decay Electric palette first. Gonna go in with this beautiful blue shade here. Now, blues and me do not always get along. So, y'all just hope with me that it turns out good. <laughs> gonna put this in the crease pack it on slowly but surely
So then gonna go in with the Zulu palette using this purple for the outer corner. Gonna blend that into the blue. Fan it out. For some fun, I'm gonna use this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. These are so pretty. I'm gonna bring that up since my eyes are hooded. I want you to be able to see it, so I'm gonna bring it up higher than my eyelid is. in with this purple from the electric palette in the inner inner corner of my eye I'm gonna fade a little bit more of that blue into that purple I just put in For eyeliner, my absolute favorite, the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner to make my wing and tie this thing together. For lashes, using these Miss Lashes in the style 102B. The so glue's on while I let those dry. Gonna use my primer, the Essence Primer. This is a mattifying, it has charcoal. I feel like it makes me matte. To help fight against the pores, <laughs> I'm going to use the Elf Poreless Putty. When you thought you were recording and you weren't. <laughs> so for foundation, using two of these colors, four and then 4.05 to get my winter color. Because this one is too dark right now. So put that on. Excuse how messy this bottle is. So I love this foundation, but I feel like it looks way too dewy for my oily skin. So I used to go in with the Sephora Micro Smooth. Um, this is a foundation. And I use it kind of like a top coat. So I'm just going to buff that over this to make it more matte. And give a little bit more coverage as well. For concealer, using this pretty vulgar concealer that I got in my Boxy Charm, I absolutely love it. It's really light, um, as in not very thick, kind of watery. The color's a little light too, but the way it blends in is beautiful. It's 
not too heavy. I love my tape, my uh, tart uh, shape tape, but it definitely is heavy. This is not. Setting that also with my Sasha Buttercup powder. To bronze up the face, blend in this concealer. I'm gonna use the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in Deep Ebony. Look how it chisels the cheeks. To get rid of the harsh lines, I'm going to use this buffer brush and just kind of go over those lines, help to blend it in. For inner corner highlight, using my Becca highlighter, and this one is in the color Opal. This is one of the OGs. So good. Add some attention to the arch. To finish off the brows, gonna go in with this LA Girl Slim Shady Brow Brush. Well, not brow brush, but brow pencil. <laughs> and going to just fill in areas that are sparse. Make sure this line is crisp. But not going too heavy because we still want it to look faded. For blush, using the Old Faithful, my e.l.f. Always Rosy. For highlighter, I want to try out this Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter and Glow Goals. It is the collaboration that Nikki Tutorials did with Ofra. I also, well, no, I got this in Ipsy, not in BoxyCharm. I like it. It's blinding, but then it's not too bad. So I'm gonna buff a little bit of that out. I got a little bit excited. It is beautiful. For lips, using this ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick set everything in place using the e.l.f. Met Magic. And there we have it, the finished look.
thank you so much for watching